Hey guys, uh, welcome to Floss Tube number three. Um, first of all, I want to apologise for not being here last week. Uh, like I said, I was the whole household had unfortunately had come down with a cold, and we're just getting over it now. My little boy, three year old, he's still got it at the minute, so he's a bit been a bit off here and there. Um, I was absolutely bummed up with it last week. Um, I tried to do a little bit of stitching but I didn't get that much done unfortunately because um, I just didn't feel like it to be honest, I was just too tired um, I didn't get anything stitching wise as well so I thought it's best just to leave it another week because I'd rather have something to actually show you than not <laughs> um, whether it being a better for it being leave it till this week than do it last week and be like a hi bye <laughs> but anyhow um first things first i just want to thank everyone to who's actually viewed my videos um i want to thank everyone who's liked the videos uh, or commented or and i want to say a big thank you to my subscribers as well i'm actually really touched um by the people who've actually wanted to sit there and just watch my videos <laughs> but you like me I love watching other people's videos as well um first next thing I'll show you my Pinocchio work my work in progress I haven't actually done a lot on this um because I don't know but uh confetti stitches I've heard a couple of people mention that a couple of times is that I could be wrong, but is that like when you've got this one stitch of a one colour in all different spaces? Because if that's the case, then yeah, I've had a bit of that uh, with this Pinocchio. As you can see, that I haven't done a lot at all on it, unfortunately, because some colours I just didn't have. But I've just started doing the top of his hat, as you can see there. I do apologise about the actual filming because I'm using my tablet because still got the same problem with my phone unfortunately but you can see i've done a little bit there but i haven't done a lot at all i uh, will actually mention if you hear gunfire in the background don't worry i'm not at a gun range <laughs> my husband is actually a youtuber for gta 5 and he also records his videos so if you're gonna go and check it out if you're not then don't <laughs> Gaming. Oh, shut up. <laughs> See, he likes to get his penny worth in. Anyhow, um, new starts. I've done a couple of new starts. One is this. <laughs> Not much, but it's a little bit. Um, I thought I wanted to practice using my variated threads, uh, so I thought I'd do a heart template. I'm doing all variated blue cross stitches for the middle and then I'm going to do like dark blue for the edges uh, I don't really know what's inspired me to do this I just last week um, I seen a few statuses on Facebook about uh, a couple of things obviously I don't want to mention because it's not right for me to mention in here but I just felt like I wanted to do this um, obviously so i started that last week and i thought it'd be an easy stitch i'm going to make it into a cushion a little miniature cushion um so i'm going to do may do a couple more if that one plans out use a couple of the other variated threads um i will apologize in advance on this like i do with all my others because it's happened to all the other videos these i'm sorry if this video cuts out um i'll try my best to sort it my next new start is, I love this one, I've done well with this already, been as I've only just started it a couple of days ago. My little boy, he's got a thing about Postman Pat at the mini. <laughs> he loves it. There, I got started stitching Postman Pat. Um, I'm not a fan of backstitch, I absolutely hate it. I can avoid it at all costs if I can. But I had an, an actual idea, um, I think Pip Stitch, he actually mentioned it as it goes along it does the uh back stitch as it goes along so i thought well, fair enough i'll try it see how it goes and i've actually done that little back stitch there and it's actually working out all right um 
I'm not dreading it so much, to be honest. Uh, that's what the design is actually going to be. Postman Pat and Jess and the Cat. As you can see, I've done a bit there. I'm really enjoying um, actually doing that. Um, like I said, my son is absolutely Postman Pat crazy at the minute. Every time we ask him if he wants to watch a DVD, it's Postman Pat. We learn it off by heart now. <laughs> but the other day, yesterday I started watching it with him and I was actually laughing at it as well. But yeah, <laughs> the things you do for your children, but who cares. Right, horn. I've got a little bit of a horn. Um, first, I'm going to start with needle minders. Yeah, I've got two more. <laughs> I'm naughty. Two. There, I got Snow White. My husband's just gone laughing in the kitchen for whatever reason. The kid's losing the plot. I've got Snow White there and a Scooby Doo. I loved Scooby Doo when I was a child. Absolutely loved it. And as soon as I seen this on um, eBay, I thought, oh, I've definitely got to get that. This is from it's Plan to Stitch cross stitch planners and more needle minder so if you actually do follow these channels i just want to say thank you ever so much for those needle minders i absolutely adore them i really do love them uh, as you said because i've got a starting a collection on needle minders now um it's like in things once you get it you get kind of addicted to them. <laughs> so yeah um a couple of days ago i've seen a couple of flosses that i actually liked um dmc cotton pearl i eh? got a couple of those because i thought yeah. <coughs> excuse me i thought they might be good for a project that i want to do I, they actually attracted me to them because i thought really nice and satiny so we've got 915 it's like <laughs> I'm not even going to say what the colour is in case I get it wrong. I've got like a purpley one there, 340, and like a burgundy tight one there, 814. So I thought I'd get them for a project. I thought they'll come in handy because they always do. I got these two, just plain white um, felt fabrics for. And these may do for the cushion that I'm making for the blue heart and also the postman pat. I was thinking of putting one at the back. I'm not quite sure how to do it yet. Uh, I've seen, uh, if you watch uh, Lollipop Stitches, she's just done some heart in the frames and she's used, I think she used these for the back. So if by any chance Lollipop Stitches you watch this video, can advise me how to put these on the back because I haven't got a clue. When it comes to sewing, I don't know. It's not my number one thing. Um, got this a sampler because I thought it might be a nice little stitch to do for when I want something small. Yep, I haven't got it upside down, it's just checking. Got that one. For home sweet home. Got a nice little sampler to do where sometime, maybe for someone for a birthday or Christmas. I actually found this as well. I didn't even know this existed because before I was on about um, wanting to sew these sides to my cross stitch when I'm doing them so the sides don't fray because that's what I'm afraid of, especially with the Pinocchio because the stitches actually start right from this side so I'm a bit worried about it fraying and damaging it. But when I went in the shop a few days ago, I noticed this fray lock. Uh, apparently it's like a glue you put it stick it all around the edges you don't actually fold the edges of you just put the glue all around the edges of your cross stitch leave it a few hours uh, about two to five hours max and it's supposed to stop your edges from frame from when you're stitching so I thought that's a good buy and um, being as I don't know how to use my sewing machine I thought next best, best option for me um, the last thing in the haul bit is, I seen this a few days ago, it's the smallest house, if any of you know obviously Wales, you've been to Conway, you've seen the smallest house, um, apparently a six foot man used to live there, 
I've been in it before. Um, I could barely fit in it myself and I'm only about five foot on so how he managed I really do not know. I thought it was just a picture but you've actually got a mountain with it as well so I thought it reminds me of holidays I used to have with my parents when I was a child. Um, lovely, lovely memories um, especially so I thought it'd be a nice little thing to do. Bring some lovely memories back. Uh, stash. Right. Before, when I did cross stitching before, I had this big tin, the College Street tin, full of cottons. I had lots of cottons in, and because I've picked up my stitching again, I asked my husband the other day if he was able to go in the loft and have a little look for the tin of cottons and that. Unfortunately, it was unable to find it uh, where it's gone, I don't know. It'll probably turn up in about 40 years. <laughs> well, at least I'll ask my cotton in when I'm in my 50s. 60s <laughs> um but there you go but you did find this besides a big bag of wool which i've actually got rid of now because i don't earn it anymore he actually found a parcel full of cross stitch stuff <laughs> so we brought that down i just want to show you a couple of things um because i don't obviously i don't want to bore you some frames obviously you've seen the postman pack one which i'm doing one in i didn't even forgot i even had those those will be brilliant for some of my cross stitch pieces that I'm doing. Um, a book, a chart book with some Christmassy patterns in. Thought that'll come in handy for Christmas time when I want to do some things. Oops. Lots of floss. <laughs> yeah, I think that was an winding up a bit. <laughs> floss. I've um, got some yeah Christmassy colours there. I've got a bit more in here. Uh, and some material as well. I've got some 15 by 18, 14 count Charles Craft Beige Ada. I really like that. That's like a light coffee beige colour. I actually like that. So I've got that. I've got some blue. Blue 14 count. Yeah. 14 karat Ada, some cream Ada as well, lots of Ada I didn't think I had but I have got and got some creamy white Ada there for something and black so I've got more than enough Ada to last if there's anything that I do decide to do, um, oh, so I'm doing my Pinocchio at the minute, um, that's going to take a while. Um, I'm doing well with my Postman Pat one, I'm really enjoying that. Um, so, uh, I just want to do an odd couple of shout outs. So uh, I've watched quite a few people for the past uh, two weeks. I, I'm really sorry, but I can't remember everybody um, that I've been watching, but. I've started watching Stitching by the Lake, um, so I'm going through binge watching her videos at the minute, she's a really nice lady, uh, on one of the videos she showed her in the, she was sitting in the garden, uh, oh, and what she did show her where she actually lives, absolutely gorgeous, um, so if you haven't heard of Stitching by the Lake, just pop along, um, so if you like a video, she's really good. And I've been watching a couple of Andrea stitches. Uh, she's also a very good stitcher as well. Basically anybody, everybody that I've been watching are really good at the work. There's not one person that isn't. Uh, I've enjoyed everybody's uh, videos that I've been watching. Um, uh, I just want to say thank you again to everybody even if you've just watched and not like you don't have to like it even that you've just took the time out to just watch my videos i'm really really appreciative of uh thank you to all my subscribers i think you're all lovely everybody's lovely who i've met through flosh tubes um i don't have a bad word to say about anybody um i think you're all all wonderful stitchers um and if you've actually sat through this video it's lasted nearly 15 minutes and i really appreciate it <laughs> uh thank you for watching and i'll actually see you in two weeks just to make sure that i've 
obviously don't bore you that I've got things to show you um thank you for popping along love you all and goodbye don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon bye